everyone and happy Sunday. We have a very exciting and encouraging lesson today. And also today, I am going to write my niece and nephew a letter. So for this letter, I am going to need my card right here. Of course, something to write with and my envelope. Now, when we talk to people, we usually call them on the phone or we text them on the phone. We send emails or I love to send letters. Now, we pay for the phone. We pay for our computers and we even pay for our mail. So I am going to need a stamp in order to mail this letter off, just like you need um, to pay for your phone, or probably your parents <laughs> pays for your phone bill if, if you're younger, or your computer. And thankfully, we can talk to God through prayer, and it is already paid for, because Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. So we have the right, we have the privilege, actually, to talk to God through prayer. Because years ago, we had to kill animals as a sacrifice to ask for forgiveness. But now, the veil has opened, and we can talk to God one-on-one -on -one through prayer. And I love it, and I'm thankful for that each and every day. So you may be wondering... How do I pray? How do I know what to say? What to ask to God? Well, I have something that I use um, to help me if I have some issues, some trouble, if I can't find the words one day. And I use the five finger prayer. And this helps me and hopefully it helps you learn how to pray. And prayers don't have to be th these big fancy words. They can be sincere because Jesus tells us in Jeremiah 29 and 12, Come to me and pray to me and I will listen to you. So that is telling us that we can communicate one-on-one -on -one with our Lord and Savior through prayer. So put your hands up just like this and the thumb will be our praise. So we can say something like, Dear Lord, I praise you for who you are. I praise you for what you do. I praise you for what you don't do because you know what's best for our lives. So our thumb is praise. Okay? Our pointer, as I call it, is thanks. So we thank God. I thank you, God, for what you do. I thank you, God, for who you are. I thank you for your many blessings that you give us each and every day. Okay? So we have praise, our thumb, and we have thanks, our pointer, our tallest finger. This means confession, or as I just say, sorry. We have to ask God for forgiveness because remember, sins are things that do not please God and we sin every day. Lord, I'm sorry for being mean to my friend. I'm sorry for not being truthful, okay? So we have praise, we have thanks, and we have sorry. And now we can ask for things that we want, that we need. I'm asking right now, dear Lord, for patience. I'm asking for strength. I'm asking for a financial increase. Okay? So we have praise. We have thanks. We have sorry and ask. And now we have others. We can pray for others. We can pray for ourselves, our pastors, our teachers, our parents, our siblings. So this can help you. If you have trouble with praying, this is a guideline, okay? Or you can also do this while you're praying. to help you see your fingers and to remember what we've learned today. And you can also 
trace your hand. And I've written here praise, thanks, sorry, ask, and others to remind you how to pray if you don't know what to say. So I want you all to have a great day. Have an amazing week. Put God first and always remember to let God's light shine through you each and every day. And we're going to use our five finger prayer, okay, this morning. So let's pray all together. You want to close your eyes. Dear Lord, we praise you for this day. We thank you just for being God and God all by yourself. And we ask for forgiveness for the sins that we've committed by thought, by word, and by deed. And dear Lord, we ask right now that you help us. Help us, dear Lord, strengthen us. Give us what we need to live better Christian lives. And we pray, dear Lord, for others. We pray for our parents, our pastors, our teachers, our siblings, anyone in need, dear Lord. Give them strength, give them peace, keep them safe. We praise your name. In your name we pray all together. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.